Good day, YouTube. Today we are going to be taking apart my laptop in order to install some brand new memory. It's a 32 gig kit. Uh, I currently only have 16, and we're gonna try to figure out how to how to go about this. It does have a warranty sticker still on it. There's gonna be a screw underneath there. I'm gonna have to pull out. And uh, in we go. So here we are after removing all of the screws. I had to get through the warranty sticker. It's designed to be a piece of crap. So you are going to destroy the warranty sticker. You are not going to be able to like fake this by getting around your warranty sticker somehow. I, I don't know why you might want to, but uh, I also keep all my screws as I took them out, uh, I find sometimes the um, the threads on them might be a little bit uh, like hole specific. I think this laptop is very well built in that each of the holes has like a nice uh, metal. I can't actually see in there with the camera, but it has a nice metal uh, thing to screw into, which is which is good. Um, so now we're going to start by cracking it apart here. And I did just start down on this corner. But um, between the, the red and the black here, we just need to get in. And there's a few snaps that are in each of these spaces. So I'm just going to have to move along and get each of, like, each of those black spaces there as a snap. And I'm just going to have to slowly move along with my screwdriver uh, one bit at a time and just lift it up a little bit and get each of these snaps to let go. And I'm going to be kind of gentle about this, but I can't really do it holding a camera, so I'll come back to you in a little bit. All right, so I just got it apart there. There wasn't really too much problem in doing so. Um, the, the majority of everything just, uh, just gradually moved along. It was a little bit difficult along the back, um, but that's not too bad. And we got off pretty much scot-free. I only snapped one of the clips, which is unfortunate. But hey, what are you gonna do? You know, you be as careful as you can, but you can't can't avoid breaking all of them. So, one of my one of my clips broke, uh, but that's fine. So here's what we came in here for. Here's my RAM, my pre-existing RAM. Uh, I've never come in here before, so we're gonna see what's uh, what's going on. I believe there's just a couple clips on here, and it pops right up like that. That's cool. And there's my RAM. And so this is this is what we got in here. That's a pretty decent um uh, hmm. You know it doesn't say DDR4 or anything on there, does it? That's kinda odd. Anyway, that's that. I'm going to pull each of these out. They should just come out nice and easy like that. They both snap out real nice. There we go. There's the second one. A little bit stuck there. We're good. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to put these right over here. Now we're going to pop open our case and stick in the new ones. Okay, so my old RAM came out. You can see there's a short side and a long side, right? So this is my new RAM that's going to go in. If I were to turn it around and try to put it in in the same way, you can see that it, it wouldn't line up properly, right? There's one long side and one short side. 
So it has to go in facing down just like I pulled the original ones out. So we're just gonna go and put each of these in there. Gonna get my left hand to hold the camera. And it seems it just slides right in. Excellent. Oh, see, there's where it says DDR4. It's very faint written in the plastic there. Interesting. Anyway, so we've got that. I'm not sure. I think I'll have to pull each of the clips out of the way, so I'll have to use both hands to do that. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do that while holding the camera. Okay. Okay, so even without holding the camera, that was kind of difficult, actually, but I used my my flat blade screwdriver in this little spot right here. So it has a little it has a little groove in the memory. And I basically on my way in, I put the screwdriver on each side and just one at a time just inched it towards actually having the clips out of the way and being down at the same time. Uh, I do want to warn you while touching memory or anything in this back panel, uh, a little bit of static electricity can easily fry some of these sensitive electronics. So be careful when you're touching things. Uh, if you were in a professional setting, you'd have like a, um, basically like a static draining um, ground, uh, what's it called? It's like a wristband of some kind. Grounding strap, something like that. Anyway, you'd have that, and you'd connect yourself to the case so that you wouldn't be building up any potential relative to anything. But I'm just being careful and only touching green plastic and stuff like that, right? So, I don't know. Use your own discretion. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to put the second stick in here, and uh, I'll show you in a sec. Okay, and there's the second one installed nicely. Since I was going to be in here, I decided I was going to uh, pick up some canned air. Um, be careful about where your screws are. Before I start spraying anything, I'm going to move a little further away from those. Just because I don't want to spray my screws across the room and like into a vent or something. It would just be awful. You don't want to lose those. So, I'm also going to spray away from them, I think. So, the main things that are dusty in here are generally these fans, of course. Um, but it actually looks like the rest of my laptop is very clean inside, which is good. Uh, I just wasn't really expecting that. Um, should be able to see down in here. Okay, so there's not too much of an issue with any of this, really. All right. So I was just going to give a little spray to everything in and around, kind of this fan area, maybe a little bit over just the rest of it, uh, because heat is ultimately the... It's the killer of electronics. It's uh, what holds everything back from being as fast as you want it to be and as, as good as you want it to be. Wow, that, um, these heat pipes are really cool. <laughs> I've never seen them before, actually. But that's really cool. Anyway, I'm going to give this a little bit of a spray down and I'll come back. All right, so a little bit of dust came out of each of the fans. Um, but after the first burst, there wasn't really anything else to come out. I did hold the fans. You don't want them to be spinning. Um, not under the computer's power, because then you're generating voltage back at wherever it's powered, and that can cause a problem. So you just don't want, like, hold them still if you're going to spray anything around them. Uh, each of the vents, they got cleaned out a little bit. 
But uh, besides that, like the rest of it's looking pretty good. Gave it a quick once over. Um, I'd say I'm I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna put it all back together here. That wasn't uh, too difficult. That's kind of nice. Okay, so this is just placing it on top. I haven't put any screws in yet, but I just wanted to be very sure it lined up perfectly. And looking in each of these holes, wherever I can see the um, see where the screw goes into, I want to make sure that it's very much perfectly in line with it. And it looks like we are. Everything, it like it presses down and, and is already starting to go into place. We do have a little bit of an issue. This is where it was a bit of an issue on the way out too. Just the uh, headphone jack here. I'm just going to have to bend the plastic out a tiny bit just to clear it. And then once I'm past it, we should be clear to go. So I'm just going to give everything a little bit of a press here, see if I can get some of the clips to reactivate. I might have to go onto a harder surface rather than on the carpet here in order to get that pressure I need because the carpet's just pressing out of the way. But uh, it's all fitting on real nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the screws back in and that's that's about it. Then I'll show you booting up and see our, see our upgraded system. So I've got it all clipped back together. Unfortunately, the fallen brother of the one clip is probably the worst clip to have broken. Because along this side here is the clip that broke. That clip right there, literally the only clip on the entire side of this laptop is in that spot right there. And that's the one that broke, which is a darn shame, but uh, I guess I'll just have to live with it. It's um, slightly obstructs the USB slot, but it's not a huge deal as well as the SD slot, but hey, I'm upgraded memory. And at least I didn't blow the thing up. <laughs> so, just gonna put some screws in and we'll be good to go. And here we are. Booted up, no problems. And we're fully upgraded to 32 gig. So, that about, um, that about does it. I think we're ready to go now. So, thanks for watching.